Good morning. This is the weekly reading for Aries. So if you are, um, if you have Aries anywhere in your chart, or you can cross watch for somebody else, um, this reading is for you. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and get started. I I did use the Oceanic uh, Tarot deck, which is was the first deck I ever bought. So, and I love the ocean. I have a very very deep connection to the ocean, so I love this deck very much. Um, the first card that you have is the High Priest card, which is Wisdom. And I am showing that you have really come a long way. You really have um, evolved spiritually. Um, this, this is a very strong card. Um, I'm seeing that you have matured in a lot of ways. You have matured um, emotionally and spiritually. And, and you have really grown and you have really stepped into this high priest role. Uh, people come to you for advice. People um, look to you for direction. But make sure that you're feeding your own soul. Um, don't deplete yourself. Make sure that you do have um, good boundaries and that you are um, taking time to recharge your own battery. Um, that is the message that I got from Spirit on that card. Um, the Seven of Pentacles potential what I'm getting from this, and this reminds me of um, Chopra's um, Seven Spiritual Laws of Success. He talks about the, the pure field of potentiality. And basically what he talks about is releasing any type of judgment. You open yourself up to this potential. I'm sorry, my dog's over here sneezing and snorting and doing all kinds of stuff, so excuse her. Um, when you are in the energy of accepting everything that's happening right now as being absolutely perfect and not judging it as good or bad, you open yourself up to that pure field of potentiality because you're not limiting yourself with expectations. Because a lot of times when, a lot of times things are exactly as they need to be in the current moment. I mean, every time, I don't mean sometimes, I mean all the time, everything is exactly um, what it needs to be and you're exactly where you need to be at at any given moment and by showing gratitude for what you have um, That will open you up to this field of potentiality of Actually being able to have more situations to be grateful for um, Which you know, I love my Aries. I had some of my best friends are Aries. My mom was an Aries um, And Aries are pretty positive people for the most part um this is all about staying positive, though. This is all about um, not judging any situation that comes up. I mean, there's contrast. You have your preferences. It might not be what you prefer right now, but just know that everything's happening just like it's supposed to happen at any given time. Sorry, I kind of struggle with that card. I read the energy of cards, and sometimes it's hard to put into my own words. Uh, Six of Cups Reflection. I do show that you have been um, in the past a lot lately. Um, you have been um, kind of going back down memory road, maybe maybe even dealing with some regrets. Um, and you need to release that because there's nothing you can do about the past right now. Um, it's all right to kind of reminisce from time to time, but the power is, sorry, my dog. The power is in the moment. The power is in the now. Um, and that means not worrying about the future. There is some anxiety that I'm picking up on. Um, not dwelling on the past and not worrying about the future, but being very present. Um, that will also open you up to this potential that you have right now to manifest more things in your life. Because you have the hope card. And this is the star. This is wish upon a star. Um, so be very clear about what you want. Don't focus on what you don't want. And that could be stuff that's happened in the past. Don't focus on that because all lessons will repeat themselves until learned. So make sure that you are um, focused on, you know, if you do think about the past, think about it in terms of what lessons you've learned and make sure that you've learned them so that they don't pop back up, especially the difficult ones. And focus on what you want more of and not what you don't want. 
because we do create our own reality by where we vibrate at. Keep that in mind that we're always creating and make sure that you're deliberately creating and not just creating by default by focusing on things that you don't want to come back up and that means learning the lessons that have happened um, in the past but the best thing to do is just not even be in the past I'm not gonna lie to you just let it go let go of the past um, that's a big message that I'm getting for you right now Aries um, main female So what I'm getting with this card is that if um, I am feeling that this has to do with romance. This does have to do with your love life right now. If you are concerned that um, your love life is not um, mutual, it is. The feelings are mutual. You are in a mutual um, love relationship. And I say... Um, Mutual as in being the feelings are mutual if that is I, I feel like that has been an issue and you've had some anxiety about that About wondering if your love interest does feel the same way about you and yes, they do That's the energy I'm getting from this card. This card doesn't always have to do with romance, but in this case I feel like it does Privileged lady what I'm getting from this is that your love interest also feels the same, same way that you um, don't feel the same way about them. Because they see you, they kind of have you up on a pedestal right now. Um, because you are in this high priest energy and people do come to you for advice. And you do come across as a person who, I'm not saying is that you feel like you're better than other people. But other people feel like, sometimes they feel like you're unapproachable, you're untouchable because you are in this high priest energy. And because, um, I'm trying to put this into words, because you are so mature and because you are so mature spiritually and emotionally, a lot of times people are afraid to approach you. And this isn't just your love interest. This could be on your job. You could be having a conflict on your job, trouble getting along with someone, and you can't figure out why. It's because they do consider you to be unapproachable. They do consider you to be, kind of be up on a pedestal. So, and I'm not saying to lower your standards. I mean, stay right where you are. But try to be more open and more inviting to people to where they do feel like they can um, approach you and they do see you as more of just a regular person. Try to be more down to earth is the message that I'm getting right here. And do let the past go. Um, I, I do feel like once again, you have to forgive some people and, and not just forgive, but release that. Absolutely release that because that is holding you up and blocking your blessings right now and from uh, new things and better situations from coming in. Wealthy man. Um, I do show you got the wealthy man and the mature man. And I had said that this, this mature man, I'm going to go out of order a little bit, does go with this high priest. Because I said I do feel like you have matured spiritually and emotionally a lot. Congratulations. <laughs> it hasn't been easy. It's been a rough road. Um, but, and, and you're, we're always growing. And like I had stated in my last two videos, you're not even the same person now as you were before you started watching this video. Energy is always flowing. It's always changing. Go with the flow. Just keep flowing. Um, because you do have wealth that's trying to come to you. Um, but make sure, like I said, you're more down to earth, you're more open, you're more open to receive um, to where it can come to you. Uh, you've got to align to it. And um, I, the message that I'm getting is that you just need to be a little bit more open. I mean, just make sure that you do not block your blessings by being stuck in the past and the message that I'm getting is that you're worried that things are going to turn out like they did before. And I'm here to tell you that they're going to be different this time. 
and don't have any expectations or emotional attachments to what you're trying to manifest. Get out of your own way, um, Aries, because you are blocking yourself. That message is coming through very, very clearly. You're blocking yourself. Um, and you might even come across as a little standoffish at times. And I understand that you do have boundaries and that you are trying to protect yourself, but open up your heart a little bit more. Um, because energy and love are the same frequency. And so when you open yourself up to love by opening your heart, you also open yourself up to money and the money can flow as well because we're all energy, everything is energy. So make sure that you just keep flowing. You don't want to stagnate. And you can do this by releasing the past. That is just the big message that's coming up right now. Releasing the past and releasing any type of expectations and knowing that it's going to be different this time. Because you are creating your own reality. And make sure that you are not creating by default. Make sure that you are focusing on what you want and not what you don't want. That message is so clear here, Aries, because you have been blocking yourself. White Sage. This card, she reminds me of Kelly from <laughs> Married with Children. Every time I see this card, I'm like, she looks like Kelly. Um, White Sage. Um, we use sage to clear energy. A lot of times people think, and this this video is going to be a little bit longer than the others, I can tell, because more messages have came through. Um, and plus, I kind of had a hard time kind of describing the energy, and I hope I did that here. Uh, a lot of times people think that we use sage to clear, like, n negative energy or evil energy. Well, that's duality. Um, and that's also putting judgment and labels on things. Sage to me, when I sage my home, I use it to clear out old energy so that new energy can come in, which has a lot to do with this releasing that I was talking about up here. So this card, once again, is letting you know to release old energy so that new energy can come in. Free your mind. That's the message that I got with that card. Tribe of the Kindred. You are attracting your soul tribe, um, and we attract our tribe by where we vibe at. And so you are attracting your tribe right now. So you will have new people come into your life, um, soul family, and you will recognize them. So make sure that you are open and you are inviting to people and that... Um, you are, if you are kind of standoffish and people are getting that um, with you right now, try to be more open and more inviting so that your soul family can come in. That is the message I got with this card. And soul families, we travel many lifetimes with our soul family, so you will recognize them and they will recognize you. Um, Angel of Truth. Always make sure you speak your truth. And Aries, um, you are very good at this. But this is, make sure that you're being authentic to yourself and you are recharging your own battery just because you are the high priest and you do provide so much wisdom and insight to other people once you do finally let them in. Um, but make sure that you're being true to yourself as well. And this means being authentic, being your true self, letting your own light shine through so that people can see who you really are as a person because you have a beautiful light. And let people see that so that your soul family can find you, so that you can build your tribe. And also so that you can open yourself up to this wealth that's coming your way and this love that is just right there if you would just trust it. Gaia, this is becoming more earthy. This is really getting out and connecting in na nature and really understanding that we are one consciousness. There is a oneness with all of creation and connecting to it and not seeing um, duality. Duality is us being separate from our source, separate from that great spirit in the sky or whoever your higher power is. We're all connected. Um, humankind, the, the animal life, rocks, trees, everything has energy. Everything has life in it. We're all connected. And this is realizing that. 
And once again, you see where it says shine on? This is about letting your light shine and becoming your true authentic self and getting into new energy and releasing the old. So this is all about releasing old energy, releasing the past, unblocking yourself where you've been stuck and trust and faith. That is what this, this whole spread has been about. Um, but definitely get out in nature more and, and be authentic to yourself and recharge your own battery. And just um, trust and believe that, that the universe is a good place. It's an abundant place and, and don't judge what's happening right now and don't expect things to, to turn out like they have in the past because you have all the power and you are creating your reality as you go along. Just make sure you're deliberately, consciously creating. Well, Aries, this is your weekly reading, and I will put the, my contact details in the description in case you want a personal reading. Thank you for watching.